Subfighter and Taste My Donut here, <laughs> bringing you the first episode of how to permanently, temporarily uh, fix a strut problem. And uh, step one is remove the tire and then jack the car up. Step one complete. And then uh, Donut Taster here is uh, installing the um, jack stands. So, and the car is rolling forward. So we don't die. Make sure you put blocks in the front, which we did not do. So there's your safety precaution, wood, which is not probably the way to go. But it's what we had. Uh, if we have it on blocks and then taste my donut, we'll test how sturdy it is. That's good to go. So you're gonna know you have shock problems when you push down on the vehicle and it, and it bounces for quite some time afterwards. Uh, after removing the wheels, I can see, I don't know if you can see in here, that, but uh, this boot is, you got this action going on and you have oil uh, leaked out of it all over the place. Pretty good indicator, you see all the, it's co coated in oil all over the place. The other side, it looks really quite good. So we're just gonna replace the right side right now. Um, I'd recommend getting two shocks or struts, depending on what you have. And uh, if you need both, then great. If, if you don't, then you can just take one back. So what are you doing now, Rich? Loosening the top bolt. All right. Attempting deep bowl socket recommended. We do not have. And then you kick it. So, what's this called? Bolt. Okay. <laughs> so this, these bolts come off because this entire thing comes off. While he's doing that, we pop Take the, the trunk. trunk. You're gonna get behind this. And you peel this back and reveal the nuts that you need to remove. Can you reveal testicles? What? <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Take that off. So my dad is loosening the nuts. Here, you take all four out and then the entire strut will drop. I'll get back to you once these are gone. So Richard is going to jack up Apparently on the drum. Yeah, just a little bit of pressure. It just takes tension off. Okay, why not right here? I don't know. Probably be better. Cause that'll come off. There. Idiot. <laughs> so <laughs> Richard is now going to jack up. Oh, gotta come down a bit. On that, it's gonna take the tension off of these bolts a bit, so you can pop that out. Right there. Yep. Tool. Yeah, he placed a uh, nut on the other, on the other, on the end of the threads to protect him while he hit it with the tool. I'll just I pull him out. No, he won't. Okay, Justin is loosening the last bolt. There seems to be there might be some pressure, so there could be a surprise waiting. One. This two. is just as good as eyeglasses, by the way. <laughs> yes. Your hand. The hand in front of his face. Yes. There you go. Everything as well. Oh, turned out okay. Now, uh, removing of strut. Keep your tools handy in the dirt at all times. <laughs> there it goes. Ta-da! So this, oh yuck, is where the where is it? spring compressor comes into play. Also in the dirt. All right. I'm gonna take this together. It's gonna be under a lot of uh, pressure. And you're gonna compress the spring. If you 
Do not do this. <laughs> Lesson learned. Do not just remove this bolt without putting the spring compressors on. Tell them what happened, Rich. Someone almost died. <laughs> yeah, uh, we got that on the on its last thread and it just shot up and kind of took our face off. So now you use tools and you compress these and we'll get back to you after that. Okay, so Richard has got a pry bar in between these two oh. to prevent it, hopefully, from spinning. This could be bad, we might smash threads. Yay. Make sure you get out of the way of the bolt when it comes off. And then we'll be back to you. The new problem, rod is totally bad. Um, so rod as I was spinning that, the entire rod spins. So Richard's gonna attempt to get some vice grips on there and uh, prevent it from spinning. And then we'll try this again. There you go. You're gonna reuse the spring. I think. Vice grips. Uh, oh yeah. And you're gonna use, you're gonna reuse the entire housing, actually. The bucket. Yeah. There's your new one. Old, new. Like I said, you're gonna reuse some parts. So let's get to it. Washer. This is what a bad strut looks like. That should not happen. And it should go right back up, and it doesn't. Bottom out. Smash that shit up. Toasted. Okay, we have found a little keeper on the new strut. Kind of keeps it from expanding inside the box. And Justin's removing at the moment. To be continued. On further ins further inspection, it just kind of hooks in there. So we're just going to beat it with stuff. What'd you do? That was spectacular. Okay, putting old parts back on. I don't know if this is face up or face down. I don't think it really cares. In the boot. And another washer. Ta-da! Spring. Oh, yeah. And then... Position your old spring into new strut. It's gonna have a little slot Width into the spring right there at the end of the bucket. Then take this bucket. The oh yes yes because we love doing things twice. <laughs> Got a vice grip on the end of that nipple thing. And using the incorrect tool, crescent wrench, because I don't have a 23 inch wrench to fit that. I'm gonna hold that with one hand and twist this with the other. I gotta shut this off because another important tidbit. Make sure this spring fits on this bushing here properly. Now the removal of the, of the uh, spring compressors. So I'm going to give my dad these bolts, I'm going to hand this to him, we're going to put it up through there, and uh, once he gets a hold of it, he's going to put a nut on the top of these threads to keep it in place. You're going to want to position it so this is going to fit inside here. Let's get it up here first. So Okay, remember to tighten and put everything back on. There's a little bracket for the uh, brake line there. And uh, to 